spoiler alert, yes, this is a wonderful piece of engineering. <laughs> No people, animals and power motors were harmed during this test, but we were probably about a quarter millimeter close to that. Everything on an aircraft must have a reason. Ignore the status quo, imagine from scratch and build what you can justify with science. Fail five times to succeed once. This is how we innovate power motors. And for you, understanding the science behind will make you a smarter pilot. Hi guys, welcome back to our Smarter Pilot series. This time we have something special here and actually it's something personal to me. This is my old power motor that I've flown in the season 2019 and 20. And this is my new power motor, my new baby that I, that's freshly made for the new season. Monster Plus, excellent engine, I love it. And this is something very promising, the Monster Factory R. And there is something special about it, 140 propeller. So I've heard a lot how great this engine is, it has more power and it's better and so on. And it does feel, but I want to know how much better this engine is. It looks better, it has lots of carbon fiber, titanium and nice and red anodized but that's just beauty contest but i want to know how much better it is what you actually get for the extra premium with this engine so in this video we will do two basic measurements first i want to measure the maximum thrust super simple i will take off with uh with my glider and measure how many seconds it takes to climb 100 meters Super simple. The more powerful the engine is, the shorter it should be. So if there is any power advantage from this motor, if this motor delivers more than this one, I should be climbing faster. Now the second thing that I'm kind of hoping for, as I'm mostly into adventure flying and long distance exploration and so on, I would love to see a little bit lower fuel consumption. It's said that it, this should have a lower fuel consumption, but I want to know exactly and I want to measure it. So for this purpose, we have installed this little bottle. It contains 0.764 liters of fuel exactly, and I will simply measure how many minutes and seconds it will take for the engine to burn the whole bottle. So I will open the valve, start the stopwatch and stop it when the engine dies because of fuel starvation. On this particular engine I have installed a 140 propeller. I'm very curious, I'm super excited about that one, but to make it a fair comparison we also will test today the 130. This has 132 so this is more equivalent, so comparing performance of this motor with the factory and 130, we will know how much extra power or efficiency you gain from the factory engine. And then comparing the performance between this propeller and this propeller, we will actually realize and find out how much extra power or fuel efficiency you gain from the additional 10 centimeters that the prop is larger. I mean, it's huge. The scout cage is a little larger than industry standard, and you can see it's actually almost to the tip. Seriously, it's, it's right here. I will be very careful. I'll probably avoid power starts. And uh, yeah, let's see, let's go in the air. I'm, I'm pretty excited. Stoked for the new engine. Let's see. I like it. No people, animals and power motors were harmed during this test, but we were probably about a quarter millimeter close to that. Stefan, come have a look at this. Oh man, <laughs> that's carbon dust. <laughs> I don't know, I think, actually... It's carbon dust. 
Could be carbon. Yeah, I thought it's just yeah. moisture. I don't know how Tucker did it. Tucker did test to the 140 centimeter prop on the Scout, but please, if there are any Scout customers out there with the Monster Factory R considering this prop, please don't fly it with that. Because actually what happened that the prop has about a quarter millimeter of the tip shaved off. It's perfectly square and I can see marks on the carbon part here and what's happening that the Vitorazzi Monster and the Monster Factory R has a pretty unfortunate positioning of the rubber mount and the thrust line is actually centimeters above the top rubber mount so as the engine is pushing the top rubber mounts get compressed but the bottom rubber mounts get actually stretched which means the whole engine kind of leans into like up and into that means the top part of the prop gets further deeper into the cage not on the edge but probably about two centimeters away on the inside part of the cage so we will use the 130 prop first and then we will need to fly this with the enduro cage the carbon cage is pretty wide here and the purpose is to give the line some extra protection so the prop is actually hidden, kind of submerged inside the cage, which is okay with a 130 prop, but not okay with a 140 prop. So for the next experiment, we need to use the enduro cage that doesn't have this wide hoop and we will be safe to fly. But, but I'm actually pretty sorry because I, I prefer to fly the carbon cage. I just like the way it looks and I was looking forward to have this 140 propeller and having the most power and best fuel efficiency of the whole group you know being the macho man well we will see let's go and fly the 130 10 minutes and game over, I'm going down. Yes, this is a wonderful piece of engineering. Seriously, when Vitorazzi did uh, like an e-conference and, and uh, introduction of the engine back in November or December, they had some test pilots and competition pilots all the time talking, yeah, it has more power and it's more efficient and stuff and it's advanced technology and all. And I said like, full of crap, why don't you say something relevant? But guys, it is relevant. Today we did the measurements and this thing behind really adds some power and adds some value. Let's go straight to the numbers. So, this engine revs a little higher. Straight from factory settings, I had 8,800 RPM on the ground, while a regular Monster is 8,500, 600 ish. So even on the ground, it revs probably 200 RPM more interesting noise levels it's the same 102 decibels measured here in my lap it was the same let's go in the air 
and now is the fun so the factory r with a 130 prop had 18 percent better climb rate 18 seriously so with the master mi 19 with a scout 130 centimeters prop it took me 32 seconds to climb 100 meters with the factory r with 130 prop so the same size propeller it was only 27 it was five seconds faster which is 18.4 percent better fuel consumption with the standard master it was nine minutes 24 seconds to burn that bottle of fuel with the factory r with 130 props or the same size propeller it was 10 minutes and three seconds that is seven percent longer seven percent lower fuel consumption and now comes the fun 140 centimeter propeller does a magic climb rate i couldn't feel it immediately after takeoff it was like wow remember 32 and 27 seconds with this it was 25 seconds the power is noticeable crazy crazy with a regular master 32 seconds with this is 25 that's 28 percent better climb rate incredible fuel consumption i was surprised rpm to maintain level flight was the same 5700 with a with the classic vitorati monster plus 5650 i mean what's the difference with this one surprisingly despite having the same rpm for level flight this could fly 11 minutes and 20 seconds to burn that bottle of fuel which is 20 percent longer 20 is that 20 yes it is 20 percent 20 percent low fuel consumption so to summarize the factory r is more powerful 18 percent more power in seven percent lower fuel consumption and the factory r with the 140 propeller is is my next machine i love it i want to say hi to the guys to vitorazzi respect for the great work i mean it looks great but i'm a very practical guy and and just looking great is not enough but it flies great it's awesome to me it's worth the extra premium money thank you guys respect it's a wonderful piece of engineering